The Secretary of State arrived in Geneva hoping for more success than she'd had in Paris. Rebuffed by Israel in France, she was looking to Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat to give her peace drive a boost. But the Palestinians have poured scorn on Israeli plans for limited withdrawal from the West Bank, and Albright had nothing new to offer them. They discuss the importance of security issues, which Israel has made a condition of any pullback. But there was no sign of significant progress. Although both insisted the talks had been constructive, neither emerged with any fresh announcement to make. I think that you all know me well enough to know that uh, when I say that we have had some very serious and fruitful discussions, uh, that uh, I am telling it like it is, because if we weren't having them, I would be also telling you that. As I said earlier, I am not asking for more than what we have signed in our agreement. Albright said she'd hold more talks with Arafat and Netanyahu when she gets back from trips to Africa and Brussels. Netanyahu, meanwhile, was being urged to work harder for peace by French President Jacques Chirac, who criticized Israel's redeployment plan. He was told he'd have to take some bold initiatives in order to break the deadlock to achieve peace. 